Okay, here we've got the first term of a series is 6, and the second term is 2. All right, so they've given us A1, and they've given us A2, so let's go ahead and write that down. A is 6, and A2 is 2. And they want to know, for the case where the series is an arithmetic progression, what they want to know is to find the sum of the first 80 terms. All right, so it's arithmetic progression, and they want us to find the sum of the first 80 terms. All right, so we've got a formula for that. Um, we don't know the last term, so we're going to go ahead and use the formula that uh, looks like this. 1 half n, and then 2a plus n minus 1 all times d, and then we're closing that up. All right, so let's fill in what we've got. We know what n is, that's going to be 80, so half of that is 40. We know what a is, that's 6, so 2 times that is 12. n is 80, so 79. And then d, well, all we've got to do is subtract 2 minus 6, and we get a negative 4. So negative 4 is our d. And literally all it comes down to now is typing it in our calculator and figuring out what the answer is. And we end up with a total of negative 12,160. This one's literally just about as straightforward as it gets. You literally write down the formula, fill it in, and then get the answer. Now in part two, it's a geometric progression. They want us to find the sum to infinity. This is also pretty straightforward because we've got a formula for sum to infinity, and that is just a over 1 minus r. And so all I've got to do is figure out what my r is. Well, my r is going to be 2 divided by 6 or 1 third. So I'm just going to fill in my formula. I've got 6 over 1 minus 1 third. And you can literally just type that in the calculator exactly the way we've written it here. And then you'll end up with the answer of 9. And that's all there is for this one. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped.